Hello, my name is Sable, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make custom loadouts for Half Sword. What I mean by custom loadouts is custom colors, custom weapons, and most importantly of all, there's no RNG involved in this. You're just going to be able to set the values to what you want them to be. We're just going to be editing files, so there's not going to be playing the game for five hours hoping you roll that specific loadout you're looking for. You'll just be able to make it yourself. So to get started, you're going to need Half Sword installed, obviously, but you'll also need the Overdesk Selector installed and you will need the Half Sword Enhancer, particularly that last one if you're going to edit weapons, but I'll get more into that later. For tutorials on how to install those, you can look in the description, but I'm not going to get into it in this video. There's tutorials already out there and uh, plenty of people have covered it. So uh, the main thing I'm going to be covering is how to install an Unreal Engine save editor. Um, that'll allow us to edit the save files that are in Overdesk and uh, that'll give us access to all the stuff that we want. So to start that, we're going to need to install Rust. There will be links down in the description to the site and all the other sites that I mentioned. Um, but from here, all you got to do is select whichever one of these downloads corresponds to your operating system. It's generally going to be 64-bit, and then you install it. Um, and once it's installed, you just click it. It should open up a command prompt for you. Um, and it might not look exactly like this. I've already installed Rust, so uh, it probably will not look the same. But once you're here, you just hit enter, and you should see this message. Um, yeah, and then once it's there, you just hit enter and it'll close out of the window. Uh, I want to mention really quick that if you're up here and you're seeing an error about uh, Virtual Studio not being installed, there should be a link uh, within the prompt that you can follow and download. And then once you restart the EXE, it'll let you install. So uh, just be aware of that. Uh, now I'm going to move over to the GitHub. Uh, this is where the Unreal Engine save editor is. Uh, and what's of particular interest to us here is uh, this command right here. This is now uh, what we're going to run in our new command prompt, which I'm going to open right now. Uh, bring it over here, and I'm just going to paste that in, and I'm going to add a little tag here at the end so you can see what it should look like. You don't have to do that, but this is what you should be seeing uh, when you input this command right here. Um, and while that downloads, we're going to navigate to our Overdesk uh, selection. Uh, it should be in your half sword files, but if it's not, you know, wherever this is located, uh, and from here, we're going to go into the pooled saves. We're going to select whichever loadout you want to edit. This one is the one I'm trying to edit. And we are looking particularly for this one right here, the save file. Uh, it should be SG player equipment. Um, and so while we're here, we're just going to click right here on this icon. It should be next to you know this file path. And it should give you the entire file path. So you'll just click Control-C. And then you'll come back over to your uh, command prompt. And it should be done installing by now. Uh, and when it is, you're going to type ue save um, and then 2 dash json and then space dash i quote and then paste that file path in there backslash sg space player space equipment dot sav and then from there you do a greater than symbol uh, another quote and then you can put whatever file path you want but i'm just going to paste the file path back in and i'm going to type in output.json, you can name it whatever, but you do want it to be a JSON file. So once you hit enter, you can see now this file is updated. Well, the reason that we are doing this is if you open up a save file, you're going to look, it's completely like gibberish and in, uh, like unintelligible. So you know, there's some stuff that's here, but it's not really enough to make out what you can do and you can't really edit this at all. So uh, we convert it into a JSON and now it's actually readable and you can edit whatever you want on here. So once you scroll down a little bit, or you can control F to wherever you want to look for you know your stuff. But uh, you know we'll start with weapons. Uh, this is the main like thing you're looking for, uh, like the weapon itself. But if you want to change the components, it's going to be the stuff that's below it, like these. Uh, this is the grip. This is also the grip. Uh, this is the blade. This is the guard. This is the pommel. So you know what you would do is you would probably um, or you would use the enhancer to spawn whichever like you know, a bunch of items that you want and take whichever ones have the components you want on them and you would take them and then save your loadout and then you would convert the sav file into a json file and then come in and you would find you know whichever one that you want so let's say that i wanted to change the pommel here let's say uh yeah let's just say i want to change the pommel so i would take this i would take this you know string right here and i would just copy it and then I would go to the file that I'm actually trying to edit, and I would paste it in here, uh, you know, where this exact uh, line is on that file that I'm editing. Um, and that should replace it. 
but there is uh, some things that are kind of finicky with uh, weapons. I mean, you can see here there are uh, some XYZ values, uh, some vectors that I'm not really sure what they affect. I haven't messed with the weapons too much, so I'm hoping somebody else will probably mess with that and figure it out. But uh, I'm assuming that it's like offsets for the weapons, so I'm assuming that if you don't really mess with this, you might have like a floating pommel off in space or something like that. Uh, so studio stable here. Uh, what I said there was wrong. Uh, it's actually about the size of the component, not the offsets. But the same idea still applies. Uh, you'll still want to tweak those values and ensure there's no gaps or anything like that. Um, now I'll get into the clothing. So you can scroll down even more, or you can control F. You see like the bi cockpit and the doublet and the uh, the hose in there. But I'm just going to focus on the doublet. So you can see now that there's uh, these RGB values. Um, and each of these corresponds to a different part of the, the loadout or the uh, clothing article. So this is the like main color of the actual doublet. Uh, this part here is the, the string, like the uh, stitches. And I'm not really sure what this affects. It might not affect anything, but um, yeah, whenever I've changed, I haven't seen any difference. So you know, maybe, it, maybe it affects something else, like a different clothing article. Uh, I'm not really sure, but... You can mess around with it if you want. Nothing's stopping you. Uh, but I'll just go ahead and change this. Uh, and if you're not really familiar with RGB values, I would recommend using this color picker here. Uh, I mean, there's plenty of color pickers, but this one's pretty nice. Um, and so, you know, if I was, say, I wanted to choose like a blue color, right? Uh, I would look at this RGB value. I'd take this number, uh, 37, and I'd divide that by 255. And then I would come back to this output file. And whatever the the number between 0 and 1 that I got would uh, go right here and you know same thing for the other values the G and the B uh, same thing uh, this A value this is a transparency thing so you probably shouldn't touch that but after that I will go ahead and I'll just go ahead and uh, change these values I'm gonna do a dark purple since that's not something that you usually see in the game uh, and then once I'm done with that I'll just hit save and now I'll go back to my command prompt, and this time, instead of typing to JSON, I will type from JSON, and do dash I, and we will paste again that, uh, that file path. And this time we are reading the JSON file, so we put that first, and again, we paste that file path, and we are going to override the player equipment file. Uh, you don't have to overwrite it, but you can... Uh, it makes it a lot easier and more streamlined, so that's what I do. Um, and once you hit enter, it should change it. Uh, you can see it's now edited or updated. Um, and once it's updated, all you've got to do is you come over to your overdeaths, uh, select the specific uh, loadout that you want, and come back over to half sword, which I will show you in a second. There we go. Um, and once I hit play demo, you should be able to see that now my, uh, my doublet there is purple. Uh, when it was previously yellow. And the same thing applies with weapons. Um, once you were in here and you changed the uh, specific uh, components, you know, you, it'll be reflected in the game. You'll see it. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, you know, let me know if you guys have any questions or if you aren't sure about anything. I'll try to help. Uh, I can't really guarantee anything, but, uh, you know, I'll do my best. Uh, and if you enjoyed or if you got some useful information out of this video, please drop a like and um, subscribe. Helps the channel out. Uh, and yeah, peace.